I and how are you all today? The question says, if PAB is a secant to the circle, intersecting the circle at A and B, and PT is the tangent segment, prove that PA into PB is equal to PT square. Using the above theorem, prove the following. Two circles intersect each other at P and Q. From a point R on PQ produced, two tangents RB and RC are drawn to the circle, to the two circles touching them at B and C. Then we need to prove that RB is equal to RC. So let us first start with the solution by proving the theorem which is given to us. Now here we are given that PAB is a secant to a circle with center O. PT is the tangent to the circle. Right. We need to prove that PA into PB is equal to PT square. Right. Now for that we need to join O to the midpoint M, that is of AB, and also to A, P, and T. A, P, and T. We have joined O to M, A, P, and T. Right? And since this is a line from the center to the midpoint of a chord. That means it is perpendicular to the chord. Right? So, let us start with our proof. O is the center of the circle. And M is the midpoint of the chord. AB. So therefore we can write that OM is perpendicular on AB because line from the center to the midpoint of the chord is perpendicular to the chord. Right? Also, we have PA is equal to PM minus AM and PB is equal to PM plus MB. But we know that AM is equal to MB because M is the midpoint of AB. So here we can write this as therefore PB is equal to PM plus AM. Now let this be the first equation. And let this be the second equation. Now on multiplying, first equation and the second equation we get, left hand sides will get multiplied by left hand sides. So we have PA into PB equal to PM minus AM into PM plus AM. So here 
a minus b a plus b can be written as a square minus b square. Right. Now we know that OM is perpendicular to the chord. So therefore in this triangle we can write that PM square is equal to OP square minus OM square that is by Pythagoras theorem. And also AM square is equal to OA square minus OM square that is again by Pythagoras theorem. Thus we can write PA into PB is equal to in place of PM square now we can write OP square minus OM square and now in place of AM square we can write OA square minus OM square. On solving we have it as OP square minus OM square minus OA square plus OM square. These two will get, get cancelled so OP square minus OA square which can be written as OP square minus OT square as OA is equal to OT which is the radius of the circle OA and OT. So in place of OA we can write OT and OP square minus OT square will give us, sorry, OT square will give us PT square. Right, and this will be by, again, Pythagoras theorem. Right, so we can say that, therefore, PA into PB is equal to PT square and this we have proved. This completes the first part of the solution. Now in the second part, we need to prove that RB is equal to RC. Let me repeat the question once again. Here we were given that two circles are intersecting at P and Q. From a point R on PB which is produced, two tangents RB and RC are drawn to the two circles touching at B and C respectively. We need to prove that RB is equal to RC. So let us proceed with our proof. Here we are given that RB is a tangent to the circle and RQP is a secant. Right. So using the above theorem which we have proved just now, we can say that RB square is equal to RQ into RP. That is proved by the given theorem. Now similarly, RC is also tangent. So RC square will be equal to RQ into R, P. This is again by using the above theorem which we have proved just now. So, from 1 and 2, from this equation and this equation, we get that R, B square is equal to R, C square since the right hand sides of both these equations are same to each other. So, when square of 2 are equal, then we can say
say that R B is equal to R C and hence we have proved the second part also. So hope you understood the whole question well and using the above theorem which we have proved just now, we can prove the second part easily. So have a nice day ahead.